Hi, I'm Christopher Smigel in the Department of Horticulture at the University of Kentucky. Let's look at some of the damage caused by voles or meadow mice in commercial blueberry plantings and talk about some of the options for controlling these pests. Voles feed on roots and bark at the plant's soil level. Loose plants can indicate severe bowl feeding. Frequently, blueberry growers do not notice the damage until plants become weak, die, or are removed. The species of interest to Kentucky farmers are the pine bowl, which has a tail about as long as its hind foot, and the meadow and prairie voles, which have tails about twice as long as their hind feet. Control methods described apply to all vole species, so exact species identification is not critical. Some general cultural practices may help reduce vole populations in blueberry plantings. Mowing the grass in row middles and ditches in late fall reduces favorable vole habitats and exposes voles to predators. Thatch, grass cuttings, and weed remnants lying flat are a common site for vole runways. This can be raked and in some cases blown away with a strong backpack blower. Chemical control can be achieved in blueberries by using products with the active ingredient zinc phosphide. Only these products are labeled for vol control in blueberry production. They are restricted use pesticides and will require a pesticide applicator's license to use. Always read the pesticide label before using. These products are to be applied in the dormant period late fall or prior to leaf emergence in the spring. The minimum pre-harvest interval is 70 days. Bait can be put in runways or holes and covered with something, for example, part of a shingle. A PVC plastic tube bait station does a better job of keeping the bait dry and out of reach from birds and other non-target animals. Be sure to use a strong end cap or plug on these tubes. Animals will chew through the duct tape enclosures. Where chemical control is not an option, voles can be trapped with standard mouse traps. This may be effective where isolated, small populations of voles flare up. In such cases, traps may simply be set and left right in the vole runways as voles habitually follow them. It is not necessary to bait the traps. The voles will spring the traps as they climb over them. Vole management really needs to be ongoing, but consistent weed and grass management in the blueberry planting and surroundings, monitoring vole populations, and applying rodenticide promptly can prevent large population outbreaks and minimize their feeding damage. For more information on vole control and fruit production, be sure to read the Midwest Fruit Pest Management Guide, which offers more specific information on this topic and many others.